forward for the soul. Okay, sure. All right, we, we're here with uh, Toast and NHN uh, sh checking out the, uh, the Soul, so why don't we uh, tell us a little bit about this. Uh, so the Soul uh, is an uh, action RPG, it's a action slash action RPG uh, that's based in the Three Kingdoms saga era, a hundred years after that. So a uh, mad sorcerer has come back to revive all of those legendary heroes, which you'll definitely be able to recognize as we continue to play through this game. Uh, and the idea is that the hero uh, needs to uh, uh, murder those, uh, those zombies that are collecting and then reclaim those legendary powers from those uh, from those heroes. Uh, so uh, the majority of the game you're going about uh, waving through waves of enemies. Uh, the kind of feeling that we want to evoke from like, an anime where the hero is uh, gutting down hundreds and hundreds of enemies. Uh, we also have these, uh, these soul powers like that one. Uh, all of these soul powers are different too. You collect these soul powers from attacking those legendary heroes, which we'll show you at the end of uh, this trailer. And get through it as fast as possible. Uh, this trailer is one you will be able to recognize people like that. You know, Shank, Bay, Bay. Uh, we noticed that you know, even though those names may not be as familiar, you'll you'll definitely recognize their, uh, their attacks and their abilities later on. Uh, the other thing is too that we want to show off. Uh, more and more of the skills too. Uh, you'll be able to make uh, collect those skills as you progress uh, along with your game, collecting uh, the legendary heroes, but you actually be able to collect smaller, smaller heroes and commanders from that era. And all of them have these different skill abilities too. Uh, in addition to the single player, uh, there's also going to be a PvP. Uh, we're going to have one-on-one -on -one PvP. So it really matters what kind of souls that you bring into the game with you. Now, will, will that be like an asynchronous PvP or be real time? Uh, it'll be asynchronous PvP, but in addition to that, we're going to have a free for all, four versus four, last man standing kind of PvP. Too, oh, okay. Which is going to be uh, you know, uh, one of the better parts of the soul, much more competitive gameplay. Uh, we're also working on a guild system too, so that uh, depending on your success in uh, PvP and in free for all, uh, you're going to have a lot more uh, uh, competition. <laughs> so yeah, so going toe-to-toe -to -toe with one you is a bad idea, so you really need to take out minions as much as possible so that it doesn't decimate you and use as many soul powers as possible. Fortunately, until we kill him and get his soul power, it's going to be a tough, tough fight. And there's going to be a lot more status effects too. You're going to have like, knockbacks, you're going to have break attacks. It's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of good strategy in this game, even though it's just a it's a hack and slash. And the other thing that we're working on too is uh, you know creating a, a valuable story for players too uh, with the localization that we're doing. Uh, we're also going to work on you know cleaning up the UI, which I'll show you in a second, uh, so that it's you know simple to understand but deep enough for a hardcore player. We'll go home and uh, hopefully equip uh, one use soul. So here you go. You can uh, equip these souls. You'll be able to enhance them too. Uh, you'll and have the soul souls kind of serve as like your your abilities to use in your battle. Your attacks, your abilities. Yeah. And as you can see, you start to unlock more of them too. Uh, and also, we'll have two different characters to start out as. You can pick this warrior character, or you can pick this assassin character. Uh, we're gonna have a third too, hopefully by hard launch. Uh, and so you'll be able to unlock both of these. Both of them have different play styles, they have different abilities that you can add on to, uh, determining by which soul you have. Uh, so it'll add a lot of, you know, variation, a lot of replayability for both players. Cool, and uh, when, when can we expect to play this? Uh, this, hopefully, uh, we're looking at mid-April uh, for soft launch and then hard launch a little bit after that. Alright, very cool. Well, thanks for showing it off. Great, thanks a lot.